something that inspired me for this uh, routine was the two years I spent living in Turkey. And while I was living in Turkey, I got to do a fair bit of traveling on that side of the Atlantic. And so really a, a lot of my growth as um, in specialty coffee as a barista, well, I wasn't a barista at the time, but kind of the background that led to me being a barista was getting to visit a lot of world-class cafes and seeing what people were doing on the continent. And so, uh, and specifically for the routine is actually Turkish coffee culture that I thought would make an interesting signature beverage. As a barista, I, my tendency is to be kind of sloppy, and so uh, training for competition has helped me tighten that up a little bit. I think that it's made me a sharper barista on bar, and hopefully this relates to serving customers better beverages, and by mastering those skills, that frees up time for better customer service. Even just interacting with the judges, a lot of those same skills, eye contact, articulation, those sorts of things help with customer service. That's so my signature beverage. I uh, took one shot of espresso, I diluted it with 15 milliliters of water, used three grams of honey, one drop of grape juice, and two drops of rose water, and a little bit of shaved walnuts. And so all of those ingredients were either from the, the flavor profile of my espresso or the flavor profile of Turkish delight and Turkish coffee. And so the idea was what would happen if I looked at my espresso through this kind of Middle Eastern lens. The focus was the service and experience and being open-minded how we create the customer experience in our cafes and, and letting the experience draw them into wanting to know more about the coffee rather than telling them they should know more about the coffee. So uh, yeah, and it was I just used little details like you know serving cappuccino in a brandy glass instead of a mug, and, and how how you experience the drink that's the same drink. I didn't change anything about how I make a cappuccino. I just changed what I served it in, and how that changes our perception and experience, and how that would influence a customer. As much as as. We in the specialty coffee industry may love single origin espresso. Introducing that to a customer just out the gate is a really hard thing to do. My purpose for how I presented it was starting with a cappuccino because it's approachable and milk and coffee. People are comfortable with that, familiar with that. And then um, going from that to a signature drink that has the flavors of the espresso, but again, like more approachable and playful and fun and. Uh, and then leading from that into the espresso. So it was all building up to the coffee, with the coffee bean and Yeah, and then service is something I'm really passionate about right now. And, you know, we focus so much on making the best cup of coffee we can, which is awesome, and that's a part of service. But, uh, you know, neglecting our customers is, it doesn't matter how good your coffee is, you know, right? If you're not creating a unique experience to draw your customers. So. Flavor creation, flavor development, and flavor transformation. The competition definitely um, makes you focus on the, the tiny little details and idiosyncrasies of the profession that is being a barista. Um, and I, I value that because there's, you know, at the shops you're, you're usually um, in your day to day and your operations, and you really get a chance to kind of like sit down and take an inventory of the things that you need to improve on and the competition is sort of an annual like evaluation of your skills um, so it's very useful in that sense. All the excitement, all the energy and like I said if we're here to grow it's everyone in this room here to grow which is a huge driving force in the industry. Imagine 100 people competing this year maybe they're all like taking a step back and going how can we make this better? You know it was just it was a challenge every step along the way and but it was exciting, and I feel like now I'm at a point where I'm really learning the true, you know, higher levels of what it is to be a barista. You know, it's not just, you know, working in a cafe. You know, that is important. That's what we do every day, and it's like, you know, pay some bills. But there's so much more to really get excited about and, you know, to challenge ourselves and grow. I'm just, I'm just getting into learning, you know, what it is to really, you know, take this job as a career. One of the things... You know, when I first competed, you know, almost seven years ago, uh, the first thing I realized was like, oh man, like just preparing for this game is like making me better at my job. I love, I love making drinks and, and, and sharing my joy with people. Um, 
So getting ready for this competition just you know refined all of my kind of mechanics uh, as a bird said, for lack of a better word, and really allowed me to hone in with what I'm learning sensory-wise right now. People who are interested and, and intrigued and get to do something creative with a product. Um, it's kind of, for me, it was the, the next step. It has definitely made me hone my craft. Um, that was the little blurb I put on uh, the SCAA's website is, you know, why do you compete? And I said to hone my craft and surround myself with the greats. Um, and it definitely ramps up who you are as a barista. You, uh, you become more consistent, you become more knowledgeable, and you just become more comfortable with what you do. I've been dialing espresso for four years, but this experience only lets me fine tune it just a little bit more. It gives me more confidence on giving me you know, an espresso I don't know and learning it back and forth, being able to serve great drinks to my customers at the highest quality that they can be. Saying, you know, there's there's always something more to learn. There's always a way to be more efficient. There's always a way to be more personable with your customers and more understanding. And I think that that's what this is about. This is about learning as an industry to connect the dots between the industry and the consumer.